Welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you everyone, both those I've met angry and those that still chose to understand my my line of actions and my patterns. God bless each and every one of you. Uh, let me just again clarify myself. In the last video that I made, in the last uh, second to the last video that I made, where I was asking, what if Ruth Matthew has not completely been telling the truth? I know it came as a root shock to some of you. And, um, you know, I already... I already um, understand that uh, people are already accusing me of um, being compromised or having been compromised, but that is okay. It is normal. That is people's opinion. Why I'm talking about it again is because I spoke lengthy about it in the video that I uploaded before this video I'm doing now and I explained myself. All I was trying to pass across is that was and is still that I felt a burden on my chest to speak about that part of the truth because um, several things can lie, but documented uh, matters, documented facts cannot lie. The Brekete video that has been deleted, even though that the burden is on Brekete to tell us why the video was deleted, or maybe we have not searched well to get to where the video is now, about that part of the video that i saw some person said it looked doctored but i don't think it was doctored so when you put those pieces together something definitely was not uh correlating and so i had to do that video that i did but jeremiah seems to have found his voice he spoke in earlier in the video that i did i uploaded where I said Jeremiah finally speaks. In that video, if you watched his body language, he was actually speaking with fear. But I'm going to let you watch another video where he seems to be speaking with vehement authority and oozing some level of, of confidence. You know, I really don't know if he has had something that we don't know. Or is it that the latest uh, revelation of what Ruth and her children has said, which has since set the record straight, different from what the you know they were telling the public before now. I don't know if that was what Jeremiah saw that gave him this uh, ultimate confidence with which she is speaking. I'd like you to look at the video. I love you all. <laughs> Jeremiah loves you. <laughs> Jeremiah loves you. Standing by me uh, for prayers. God never changes. Hey, hey, hey. God, I love you. I love you. I love you. Listen, I don't want to now tell you. I'm sorry for coming late. You know, when God wants to know. I want to want to promote his children. Um, God always allowed without like I've been saying time without number, without wrestling. How can you be a winner? You will not know who wins. Are you hear me? Without a wrestling, how can you be a winner? Without somebody challenge you for a battle, how can you begin to win? Now, sons and daughters that worship me all over the world, my prophecies never fails. My prophecies never fail. It never, ever fails. Then every one of us, if I be a prophet, if me, if really God called me, the truth of this matter must come out. 
I'm telling you, but the thing is about when anytime, any hour, my, my things of God, the things of God in me, it doesn't waste time. That's why I call the day of Exodus God. Exodus. Take my word today. Take this my word this night. When I now cried unto the Lord, what happened in the days of old? In the time of Moses, that's things that happened right in my life. If God really called me, if God really called me, let the truth be prevailed. Let everybody hear. And everyone, I told you, cross over. Remember, cross over. Cross over. This is an attack, but at the end is victory. Remember that word, victory. Every one of you going to hear the story, not only one person. Even the smallest blog carry this. Blogs are not existing because of Jeremiah. They carry this for an open. Ah, 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 yeah, yeah. Ah. Right, God of Jeremiah, I love you. When I'm talking about these things, when I'm talking about these things, many a time people don't not understand. The everywhere in the world, Jeremiah, 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 Jeremiah. Yes. In order to promote, a man want to receive promotion from God, you must pass a battle. Yes. Remember the time of battle in the days of uh, 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 Egypt. Allow my children go. Pharaoh and something happened brethren I am very happy for every one of you that are watching me and I'm, I am telling you from now on you people are going to know when the man, when, 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 when when the result the victory now the attack has come is it not so yes. the, prophet, the prophecy says this is an attack even you and I will hear it. And the testimony you and I is going to testify. Victory at the end. <laughs> One thing I, I ask human, human beings, brethren, listen. One thing people may ask, does he know all these secrets in the Bible? Why this one? <laughs> Why this attack? Yes. Not the attack. The attack in order to promote Jeremiah or Moto Fufuni all over the world. Every one of you will hear the story and you have heard the story. But the result, the result, I am boasting. I am serving the living God. Boasting. I am boasting. I am boasting. Go and ask. Go and ask. Go and ask. The truth must surely prevail if I am serving a living God. Mark my word. Just mark my word. It will not take time. The Lord said it can be every second, it can be next minute. It can be next hour of the day of the night. The truth must prevail. But it will not take. I told you something. Oh my God. This month is the month of number three. And I told you something about number three. I said number three stands for putting enemies to shame. Number three, God hear, hear the cry of his children. If God will not hear me, what, what am I doing? If God did not hear me, if God did not hear my cry, what am I, what am I carrying this microphone for? If I can pray for the blind, the sick, the crippled to be healed, the poor to recover and become rich, the sick to recover from sickness, that's it. That is it. Somebody's now do something in my church, accusing something that I don't know. <laughs> I have cried. 
the Lord told me sons and daughters carbon copy sons and daughters partners all over the world rejoice is coming are you ready to celebrate with me when the truth come out are you ready to celebrate with me I am asking everybody I am boasting not that I'm not seen I am seen very close very close very close of the result the Lord told me the God of Jeremiah spoke to me early this morning last this yeah this morning he said you have cried to me it's okay I the Lord I want to prove to the whole world that I the Lord had called you the God of Israel had called you everywhere it's good to hear the story are you ready I'm asking anybody that watching me are you ready to celebrate with me are you ready three I told you one thing that wish you write write it down even one second to the end of this month testimony must take place but I'm telling you what I'm telling you before the ending of this month the result must take out before the ending the endings are too much it will not end if I be a prophet if I be a prophet even not the mood any second any hour from now you hear good news you hear good news that's my God as I am talking right now in me inside me I am bleeding Christ was bleeding on the cross of Calvary I am bleeding the work of God is very hard it's the hardest among all other works but the enemies a pastor's enemy is a pastor are you hearing me enemy of a pastor is a pastor <laughs> You hear the story. Uh, the statement here actually proves that these people are watching every blog that people are out there blogging. Him mentioning and saying that the enemy of a pastor is a pastor. I believe that Jeremiah has watched the recent development. In fact, I'm not speculating over it again. I'm so certain about this now that he has watched it. And this is the reason for this newfound confidence you know but what i'm tired of is uh, always they want to bring in the spirit of prophecy they have prophesied done this one and that one you see there is more coming just watch out for the second video i am bleeding the work of god is very hard it's the hardest among all other works but the enemies a pastor's enemy is a pastor are you hearing me? Enemy of a pastor is a pastor. <laughs> you will hear the story. So um I'll be I'll be ending it here. I don't know what you make of what Jeremiah is saying, but the fact is that this one has really hit him hard. You see, God has a way of humbling people. Jeremiah was grandstanding before. And like I have said, and I keep saying, and I will continue saying it, that even if we say he is not, um, he is not complicit in the crime of kidnapping or stealing this baby, but his actions, you know, said it all. His action brought him in. His actions is the reason why everybody is pointing towards his direction. If he had done the right thing that time, we will not sit, be sitting here talking about the missing baby testimony. If he had done enough to locate the boy, to find the boy, to search the boy, which he has the capacity to, if he actually wanted to. So for me, that is where I have issues because that, in a way, makes him a suspect in the matter. Uh, there may be other fillers, but then I can't, I can't lay my hands on something uh, you know, on a substance that is not there for me. The handwriting are everywhere that this, the shard 
you know, was stolen. If it was in connivance with Mercy City, I do not know. But their role in the whole thing and their mercilessness in Mercy City makes them very, very culpable. And that's one he stands to prove that he is innocent of. Thank you and God bless you. I'll be seeing you in the next video shortly. Jeremiah seemed to have confidence that the boy will be found. You'll be hearing that in the next video. Till then, from me to you, Shalom.